I want Hercule to be in Super again. I want Hercule to have been in the tournament. Don't you guys will shut up. Dude, you no, like Hercule would be would awesome to have. Bring Hercule in. Dude, like, I mean, look at Yamcha. Like Hercule's still a, a in, uh, incredible fighter. Yeah. Like, and there's like, a reason he like, won the, the world like, martial arts tournament. Because everyone else was, like, not doing it anymore. He could just finish the match. Yamcha could destroy it. Could he? Maybe not. Oh, I mean, yeah, probably. For every Trunks versus Frieza. He beat weak Goku. He still has key control. Every single one, bro. Hercules is strong without key control. Yamcha can't even do, like, I don't understand why he's never actually tried. We'll do a Cyberman finish on Yamcha, but Yamcha will. I think he's like just like well, sent well, his way so much in that game. Yeah. 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 I feel like it's not. It's, I mean, at least in <laughs> Super, not really. Like, I have not like, seen that one. He understands. He knows it's not mirrors and tricks. Right. You know. Hercule? Yeah. Hercule. He finally does. He doesn't go like, say stupid well, shit like, like the that Ox anymore. Game, he doesn't you know. Ox. He's, he really doesn't. Right? Yeah, now he has like the Ox Sorry. King. <laughs> That's what I said. He has nothing like the Ox King, okay? The Ox King is distinguished. Uh, must have the Ox King? Yes. Do you remember what he looked like in Dragon Ball? So yes. On shit. Ridiculous. Not that distinguished. Helmet. That helmet was. Hey man, all of the, the goggles. Are ridiculously yeah. distinguished. The donk. Mm. That donk. What the booty do? But yeah. Dupe? Yeah, with that booty. Bardock and Broly. I don't like the two that. words. Bardock and donk. Man. Bardock and donk. Yep. You're right. Broly really is going to be such a big character. How awesome would Janimba be in fucking fighters? Okay. Sick. I read all of your guys' conversation. And let me go ahead and tell you, Bardock is the no, Bardock is a good choice, but Janimba is the dopest character that's ever existed in Dragon Ball. Simple Janemba? Hands oh, yeah, down. Exactly. Now, now listen, character-wise, Super Janemba, whenever he's like all slim, red, and with the sword, that's a dope character. The concept of Janemba is absolute garbage because Janemba himself was just like a fucking bad guy that was trapped inside the soul machines. Like, it literally just a mafia member. Yeah. But then all those negative souls possessed one dude, and it was like, I'm Janemba. No, you're not. <laughs> like you're a collection of souls that's calling yourself a title of some mafia member. But I love Janemba's fucking pixelated dude. Right, that shit's been really dope. cool. Yeah, it's so cool. He was in both the Xenoverses, wasn't he? Uh, no, no he, he was wasn't in either. He of was them. in the um. Was he was in no, 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 uh, the one final Ultra Blast. Or, old, yeah, old, uh, well, final, it's blast. final Raging Blast. Raging Blast. No, I'm yeah. pretty sure he was in two, wasn't he? I don't think so. I don't. We, <gasps> played two. Yeah, yeah. Was he? You, it was a, it was a, one of those um, time missions on the. Uh, it was like. Yeah. It was like 113 was. of them. I yeah. Think okay. Sure yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think I, I believe you guys are correct on that. He's my favorite. I mean, you could just unlock the, him too. I just like the really. Yeah. Really. And yeah. you would get the uh, the other one, the other version of Jim, but like he was like solid. Like metallic looking. Yeah, all the, all the, all, the uh, yeah. all the all the characters. A lot of the characters you could get in Xenoverse Two would look like that. There are just you so many more interesting two. movie villains. Like Cell had it. Then I mean, and they're all it. they're all so, ripoffs. Like every single one of them going down the going down the line. Basically the same is is yeah. well, I mean, they're all like ripoffs of their of their saga. Mm-hmm. Charles is just more Saiyan saga. Slug is just more a, a rehash of Piccolo, of, of Piccolo sl- slash Namek. Yeah. Obviously cooler, but, you know. Right. But Slug and Cooler are more, in, and especially like Turles is a more interesting character. Or yeah, I like Turles as a character. Or like thirteen, but, like, I like Bojack too. Uh, uh, I the one character I didn't like was Hot Jack because like he was fucking stupid. Mm-hmm. Because there is a Raging Blast two movie, like you played Raging Blast two, and they were like, oh here, by the way, yeah. <laughs> we made this. And I didn't really like get it. I was like, is oh, it the same for same thing for Android twenty one, kind of. I mean, uh, they, Android 21 It's just a new story I yeah. like Android 21 But well, I hate the Soul Link concept That shit's yeah. garbage Well, the, It was just for a video game permit Yeah it's just such a game So you could play The movie what? for um, Raging Blast 2 Was planned to eradicate the Saiyans Wasn't it? Yeah which is Hot Jack Yeah okay Yeah yeah. Well, that, that's, that movie predates Raging Blast 2 though No I mean Yeah But like I feel like I never actually watched it Until they put it in there Oh yeah absolutely. And I mean I don't even know if they never they, dubbed it. In that's what I was like wondering: was it dubbed yeah. before that was, or not? Yeah, that they, was they the, had updated the graphics in it to make it look all like. Oh yeah, it super, super nice. That yeah. was the Dragon Ball Kai. That yeah, that was the basis of uh, Plan to Eradicate Christmas, mm-hmm. which actually we TFS to talk about right after I say welcome to Phantom Nonsense. I'm Zach. I'm Aaron. I don't feel good. I'm Coco, and I'm also Nolan. And I'm out of frame. <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh man. Uh, how do we just now? Just, just do a, a loud, loud. 
Yeah. Come on in. Water's fine. All right, here we go. <laughs> now that we've uh, blown out your ear holes. Right. Hmm. <laughs> that would just cut and then be in slightly. <laughs> now that we've right. blown out your ear holes. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. That's Janemba. That is Janemba. And that's Fat Janemba. That is indeed Fat Janemba. Fat oh, Janemba. yeah. No, gee, he just looks so cool. He does. He he does. He's so look. evil. He looks like, uh, what's that, Deborah and... Uh, it's Cell and... Or not Cell, but uh, yeah, Frieza and... Yeah, De- uh, Frieza Cell and Deborah. Cell, yeah. 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 Frieza's color scheme sells fucking goalposts and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and crown. We'll call it a crown. It's not a crown. Go post. It's a crown. It's go post. It's not a crown. They're horns. They're, They're horns. More horns than they are crowns. That's a crown. Mm. This is not a crown. It looks like a skull. I'm not talking about Janemba. I'm talking oh. about Cell. Get your finger off my soda. Oh, Get your soda off my finger. Uh, yeah, it was like there first. Cell was did. it though? Yeah. My hand. My finger's been there way longer than your soda's been there. I don't care. Will Janemba have the sword? In yeah, the he better. I mean, Trump well, I mean, has a sword. And it's able to deflect key blasts. Right. Yes. That is cool. Um, you have some nerds, man. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You play this game too. Uh, wait, is that where I am right now? No. Yeah, wrong place, dude. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. I'm going. I'm fucking home. nerds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God damn. So what were you saying when you talk about TFS? Uh, Kaiser d- tweeted out a few days ago. Um, just reconfirming that they're in production on uh, the next episode. on the latest, well, three-part, hour-and-a-half finale of the Cell Saga, but it may very well be the end of, of Abridged. Oh, man. Well, you know, it's fitting. Yeah. Well, for <laughs> Cell games, yeah, I guess. I mean, no, that's like where Dragon Ball Z ended, right? So. Right, right. <laughs> so, it's all yeah. good. Up After that is pre-Super. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's all garbage after that. Mm-hmm. Fucking Super Saiyan three Goku. Could have could have killed Boo. I shattered my phone when I dropped it earlier. Oh man, that's disappointing. Oh, I thought, like, I thought you knew like, already. I looked at it. I was like, nah, oh, yeah, like, yeah this, I thought you this, knew too. This just happened like twenty minutes ago. But uh, I even picked up one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw on a Reddit post earlier that it should be out spring, sometime. Hey man, that's so much better than May. Like, cause. I completely expect them to at least take an entire like year. Or, yeah, uh, like same. Yeah, you know. mm-hmm. I was because every time I go back, like those Facebook memories come up. I'm like really surprised. I'm like, wait, I'm like fifty whatever. Right. was like a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It takes so much time, but I mean, hey, they're doing a lot of animation stuff. And, they haven't and done a break yet, have they? Like, no, it's, like a real no, break. It's a lot of work. This is what they do. No, there. yeah, they just take their long, take a long time. Yeah, I mean, you know. They do good stuff. And, I mean, yeah, especially when they when you don't get paid for it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> which I mean, and <laughs> that's something they they've talked about too, which we may have covered on here before. But like, when you do something like that, um, it was someone at a convention came up to them was like, "You guys have to figure out what you're going to do about this because as you guys get bigger, the people that you take on as voice actors are and other different jobs are going to start getting attention." Right. And people are going to start offering them money for their talents. Yep. And you can only like ask people to work for you on the basis of friendship for so long when they have bills to pay and everything. Right. So you just think about how you're going to, what you're going to do when Dragon Ball Z and Bridge ends, whether that's because of YouTube well, they or got, running out of material. But it's going to end one day. You have to figure out what you're going to do, and they that's where a, they are now. They have a dub show, right? Uh, yeah. They're doing um, Hells. Yeah. Hells, yeah. 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 They, that's uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. But there's no, I don't think they have two shows on. that they're doing. Really? Yeah, there's two of them. Wait, I'm not talking about Helsing. No, no, it's called Hells. Okay, yeah. that's, so that's the that's they, the one that they had been hired to do the voice yes. for Funimation, right? Yeah. And then they were also in Dragon Ball Z Kai, um, the episode where they do like that thing that they did in Avatar, where it's like a play of the shitty version of what actually happened at the cell <laughs> at the cell games in the Boo saga. Yeah. They yeah. had all of the characters from TFS playing the puppeteered that's, versions of that. That's those characters. awesome. Yeah, that's yeah cool. but it was fucking great. I loved it. But other than that, you know, I can't um uh, in Napa. Yeah, he's Napa in Xenoverse too. Yeah. But he wasn't in <clears throat> Fighters, which kinda yeah. bothers that's really cool. Here's something that will will scare us with our ambition, which is not the way I want to go anyway, but um they have ideas of like IP that they want to do which is what would keep me interested in like I don't watch a lot of the gaming stuff no. that's not really me no. um, so after a bridge ends it's kind of a 
going to suck. It's kind of going to out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. But they do want to do, like, original shows. But um, Lanny, voice of Vegeta, um, contacted some people. And the best bid he could find for animation from a studio was $10,000 a minute. A minute? Seriously? Something like that. Yeah. It was ridiculous. Sounds... Like, to actually do his own. Oh, my God. But he might as well just do it in-house at that point. You know what I mean? Or an episode or something like that. But I don't think it was an episode because it was like it was that that's was the, that's low for an episode. Yeah, ten thousand dollars yeah. for a studio to animate one episode of your show. It sounds because you got to pay all the animators and right. the studio itself. Yeah, fucking a, dude. Like, yeah, that's so you so flip books. You think people are still into that? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> no, when you bitch about why Ruby looks bad, Remember. that's why. <laughs> Remember, it's this shit's in house. It's in house. It's the only show of its like caliber. There's some like independent stuff on YouTube and stuff, but it's the only show of its caliber that's done all American. Or Rooster Teeth is the only animation studio that does their shows completely in studio in house in America yeah. anymore. That's a good show too. Yes, Dude, they show. do a good job. I mean, like I remember I used to complain before I actually watched Ruby. And like sat down and got into the story. I used to tell him I don't really want to watch this because of self shading and because of the black figures because they didn't animate their actual characters. Now, what seven years later? <laughs> like I'm, where six years later, I'm much mm-hmm. more appreciative of yeah. what they had done because right. like holy shit, that's time consuming as hell, and you don't get the option to go back and be like, well, well, well let's just reshoot. Right. Yeah, everything be good. It's like you're gonna spend the next. 13 hours of your life trying to move an arm and I'm not into that it's yeah <laughs> just doing it with 2D models is difficult or it was difficult somebody uh, that was a humble brag wasn't it did you hear humble bragging that I, <laughs> didn't mean to <laughs> no it is difficult yeah it is a lot yeah. of it and like I, that's why like, I was talking about the pixel art the pixel art is it's easy er than regular animation you know mm-hmm. what I mean because you're just doing this and then moving it like over a little bit Mm-hmm. And like doing that, and that's basically flip booking. Yeah. For pixel animation, but like whenever you do two D, like you have to do like full like renderings of shadows and that. I, ask me how to work Blender. I almost said Grinder. <laughs> ask me how to work Blender, <laughs> and I'll tell you straight up, I have no idea. Grinder on the other hand. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say Grinder. Like, I know how to work that one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah, ch- checks phone. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh, what's up, Grinder? What's your Grinder? Uh. Big Daddy Long Johns at... I was going to thought it was going to be the Big Coco. <laughs> simple. So simple and sweet. Check out my old YouTube channel. Laugh at me. I did. And him. He's also there. Not you. Him. I'm there. I'm left. Uh, and Ryan Rudolph. Ryan Rudolph's there too. Ryan Rudolph's there too. And, uh, what's his name? Fucking East End. Colin McManus. Colin McManus, yeah. <laughs> He is the East End. Him and, uh, is Perry in the East Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah Perry's definitely Oh, East yeah, end. Perry. Perry came to my house, like, uh, last year at some point. I was really? Like, you yeah. saw Perry in the last Eesh. five years? Yeah, I know, dude. It blew me away. I was like, holy shit. Like, I know you. He was, like, with some chick that was dating one of these, one of Mo's friends. And I was like, that's fucking nuts, dude. <laughs> I was like, I haven't dude, seen you since high school. Kevin's though. getting married this year. Yeah, he's got, like, two yeah. kids. Well, one of them's actually his. The other one's he's uh, Okay. Okay. So, right on. Right, so he's still has two kids. Two Why kids. Why yeah. everybody outside of a 40-mile radius? Come on, mm-hmm. let's do this. So yeah, you guys. You know, how about uh, um... but uh, speaking of of, of things ending, uh, after 25 years, Saban is ending their international licensing deal with uh, Bandai. We love you, Power Rangers. Whoa. Yep. They should just take all the comic books and I don't... make them into the studio movies. God. Animated series. You ready to do animated yeah. series? Yeah. yeah. That would be cool. That'd, That'd be okay. As long as that. it's like, because then. With with a movie, like they have to have a big enough budget, and it'd be good enough to pull off. Like if if they had like a Disney behind them or something, I'd be all about all what, about the movies. What about Krispy Kreme? What about Krispy Kreme? The Power Rangers movie. Yeah. <laughs> but if you do something like big and bombastic like that, and it's not done well, it's hard to pull it off in live action and not come across. Campy and cheesy. Yes. You can do all of that in animation, and it it's a lot easier. There's a lot more you can do in animation with it. Um, 
and I mean it's already it's a comic book, so it's easier to adapt it to to that style. I think it's already storyboarded. Mm-hmm. Power Rangers have some awesome exactly. comics. Um, yeah, they do. Their crossover with the Justice League is really good. Any crossover is a good crossover. Yeah, especially, they said any crossover is a good crossover, especially with the Justice League. Oh yeah. No, I don't know about you guys, but outside of like like stuffed animals as a little kid, like my first action figures were like Megazords and the and the flip more for like the old Mighty Morphin Power Rangers toys. So this kind of <laughs> this kind of hurts a little bit. Yeah, like I had the bird. Mine was six yeah. I had the man. I had uh. I had the, I had the I had all the, of them that you could connect. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the bird uh, one. Like keep, oh yeah. Connect. Oh no, I remember. The, yeah, the bird I one. I have all of them, but I man, I had the Red bird. Ranger's dragon. Dragon. Oh yeah. Tri- yeah. Oh man. Uh, I had the th- yeah Fucking, Thunder Zords. Yeah. Uh, I used to have all the uh, the cars that formed together. Yeah. Man, so day. my dad, so Turbo. my real dad collects yeah. my real dad collects action figures, and I gave him all of mine whenever I was like whenever I was just like done with them because I figured he'd want them more than I would, and he just told me today that he still has them, and I was just kind of like, hmm. I think I want those back. Uh, I something wish about I had mine, dude. Isaac Newton or I thought that was trees. the best idea. <laughs> Never get rid of them. I, well, I mean, I did, oh. but I mean, my dad has them. He said I could have them back. There you go. I have like, I have a yellow Optimus Prime. Yeah. That's cool. Actually, yeah, right. It's way to my brain. It's, <laughs> that's that's yeah. old. And I don't think he's a semi. A I think he's a mm-hmm. fire that's truck. I'm pretty sure he's a fire truck. That's not original Transformers. I'm pretty sure I still I, I have a lot of the di- the original Dino Bots as well. You know, like I said, Isaac Newton. And apples, Gravity. Apples and trees. Suck it. <laughs> Speaking of Transformers, Hasbro is the one that picked up the license. Good. Solid. Yep. That means Michael Bay's got a million movies to make. Oh God. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> a Michael Bay Power Rangers movie? I bet you like. So many lens All flares. the great explosions. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well, I mean, people explode whenever they get hit with a weapon yeah, in, in Power Rangers already. So Michael Bay is fit to make oh, these yeah. movies. Yes. The movie's going to explode. Did Michael <laughs> this <rain? laughs> yeah. That movie itself. Okay, can we just... Who directed... Whoever directed um, Homecoming, let's just get them to direct, like, the high school slice of life bits... And Michael Bay can have the action scenes. Okay. He's good at those. Yeah. He's just not good at making movies. I'd, I'd like to. Yeah, he's just not good at making movies. <laughs> Solid burn. Um, yeah. Tenuously connected action sequences. Yeah. 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 That's <laughs> too, awesome. Too fast-paced to notice what's going on. I don't really understand what's happening, but it, look, it looks really cool. Any, anytime they're like, John what's Watts. going on? I don't know. <laughs> you gotta, skips right back over to them. <laughs> that was uh, John Watts, by the way. Who did Homecoming? Oh, yeah, Josh coming. Well, one's got an earache, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Fine. Well, <laughs> that's good. He said he was dying. I know. Don't have no idea. You want to kiss him? Make it feel better. My what ear? did you call me? What? What did you say? <laughs> He said, do you want me to kiss it and make it feel better? Oh, uh, like, What do you okay. think I said? What? <laughs> <laughs> I heard it too. Yeah, right? I didn't hear it. <laughs> you want me to kiss him and make it feel better? I was like... Like you want some? Yeah. You, know, you want some? Make it feel better. <laughs> you like you bleeped yourself. <laughs> uh, We're recording now. Yeah, 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 fans can't be racist on camera. <laughs> you guys are every week. Yeah, yeah geez. Every week. Uh, oh, yeah. That's your like. That's the staple point. Is like. I don't want to uh, be no racist. racist. <laughs> the racist to be a staple point. The the. You the, did. The, you did this. <laughs> the the. That's what it's just gonna to, say. My my face is gonna pop. Blame the black man for your own racism. That's like <laughs> the got to be. Well, well, this this one. The. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what kind of race you are. What? I'm still trying to figure out his race. Uh, I don't know. I I was thinking Hawaiian. Quit looking up in my head. I would love one. I was asking the audience. Yeah, you guys want um, a beer? You guys want a beer? Too bad, you're not old enough to drink. Right. Damn! Ooh. Right. Look, get, get rid of my headache? Yes. Yeah, I can get rid of your headache. I can get, get rid, rid of your headache. Once you go, you drink once water. You, also, once you go black, you go deaf. And yes, yeah, so, uh, oh. I was going to punch you in the head. Is that what that's happened? What Is that what you're... Wait, it. that's why his ear hurts. What happened to me? In the head? There's only two left. I said fight about it. You got to want it. Oh, I I, do. I mean, you and Nolan. You and Nolan share a beer, a headache, a and headache. Ricky and I will share a beer. You want a headache? 
you want to go? This I'll fight both of you. It's the same day. First. What did I do? <laughs> I'll fight you. No, remember we yeah. agreed to a boxing match last night. Mm. Do you really want to drink after me? You might want to fight Coco. I mean, we're going to catch a tea. Yeah, I mean, your teeth. Is that what hurts? I think that might it, like it's like hitting here and then like yeah, that's probably what it is. I mean, hey man, I'm not worried about it. Get out of here. We're going to share. Uh, I spilled on myself like a grown what? man. Why? Why? You. Why? Yeah, because you're delicious. angry. So? Hey, Ricky, can I have a drink? Cooties. No. There's uh, oh, there's Han like, Solo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Indonesians, man. Am I right? Yeah, absolutely. Han Solo. Oh there's God. a Han Solo uh, tie-in novel to the movie called Last Shot, billed as a Han and Lando novel huh. by Daniel Jose Older. Jose Older. Uh, the book will take place in three distinct periods of the life of the two scoundrels, including before the events of Solo, a Star Wars story. Another section between the events of Solo and Star Wars Episode Four, including the character Sana Staros, who claimed to be married to Solo in the pages of Marvel Comics. And finally, post Return of the Jedi with appearances by Han, Leia, Lando, and a very young Ben Solo. Interesting. Mm, I thought so too. The novel features a two-sided cover featuring Han on one side and Land on the other, plus a convention-exclusive variant of the cover with Chewbacca on one side and New Droid Leak on the other. It's like they're back-to-back black yeah. and white yeah. buddy cops. Yeah. <laughs> like that. that would when be so up, awesome. Have, like, you noticed, have you noticed Chewie that? with the bowcaster just... <laughs> and it's Lando on. Oh. <laughs> have you seen the New Droid, the new droid's name? Mm, are you talking about the... Leet? No. What? Leet? Like L E E T L three three seven. Damn. One three three seven. I guess would be the proper lead. Yeah. But still, that's fucking decent, dude. That's so nerdy. Right. Oh, like, man, he's t- gonna die though. Yeah, he is. He would still be there otherwise. Not what do you think? It's what like... if he's what if he's Han's robot? That's <laughs> what traded or something. Yeah. Up somewhere sand else. Sand like... people. Sand people kill robots. Yeah, sand people. They I know, take, sand people. They take them apart. No, no, actually, do, do they work with Jawas and give them? Thing. No, the the Jawas are the, like they'll like trade no, for the goods. Jawas, Jawas are the sand people, aren't they? No, Tuscan sand Raiders. people. Yeah, that's the what Tuscan Raiders are the sand people. Oh yeah. Did you know that's originally just a, a clip of <laughs> him going up? But George Lucas uh, had right. the idea to make it go up, like make it reverse and go back just up. Have the two. Okay, it's in the past. Was it, hold on. <laughs> right, why didn't you just film that? Wait. Uh, no, I, I, that's not. What? Was it George Lucas, or was it his editor? I don't know. His editor was like, you know what would be right? I don't know his like, editor's name, so I went with George Lucas. No. Yeah. George yeah. Lucas Jr. Junior, Junior. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> the same haircut and everything, just... Much smaller. Yeah. Still like a fat guy. Not, no, no, same, same shape and everything, just shorter. Like, like little Hitler. <laughs> Little Lucas. I mean, such say, a scam. Say, <laughs> Lucas is an asshole some, sometimes, but he's not Hitler. Yeah, I mean... Okay. I mean, he idolized him enough to make an entire series of movies about him. So. Little Lucas? I mean, <laughs> he made him the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, Nazis get their faces melted. So. Faces. But, but, uh, faces. Man, I, all this is failing. I, I apologize. I am moments away from a stroke. <laughs> It's not like you already had one. Huh? Oh, wow. I mean, wouldn't it be on the left side? No. I can film that, right? Yeah, if the infection's here, it'd probably be on my left. Yeah. Yeah, it's moisture on your That's coming from the beer. That's a... <laughs> well, uh, we're gonna have to rush Nolan to the hospital real quick. We'll be back in five <laughs> minutes. Here is an ad for Desert Science. Hi, I'm Nolan. And I'm also Nolan. You know, there are a lot of theories running around out there that haven't been properly checked to see if they hold water. Here in the information age, there are enough shaky ideas about the world as we know it that the truth can often get lost in the weeds. Armed with a discerning mind in one hand and the sharpened tools of the scientific method in the other, we hope that this show can serve as a machete to help cut through the thickets of bullshit and logical inconsistency that plague our world and elucidate the path through the mire of misinformation and lead us into the gleaming arms of Veritas when we ask, does it science? I can't believe it's not manspread. <laughs> and we're back. Uh, <laughs> always on the good stuff. <laughs> oh was... no, it's called Blank Man. Oh, it's not. It's not. It's not Rocket Man. I think I thought you were talking about Grandma said knock you out. How do you get blank and Rocket in <laughs> Because Rock. Uh, uh, because there's an actual superhero movie called Rocket Man. Okay. I believe. It. Is there? There's a Disney movie called Rocket Man. 
Is it a Disney movie? Yeah. yeah. There's also one called, uh, um, what was it called? Fuck. I had it. Did you? It was like the one about the superheroes. A... Right, oh, man. In um, high school. Oh, high. Sky High? Sky High. Yeah. Okay. That was oh, such a good movie. Yeah. You remember? Uh, was the, the, that was a good one. The cool guy. That was a nice coming of age. That guy's name was Warren Peace. Disney movie. And like, what a fucking... In my defense, there wasn't up there to go off of for a Google search. I was... I was fishing for something like what? Oh, Wayne, yeah. oh, Wayne's what? brothers. Just, just, oh, just what? what? And doing like, I wonder if I can do this. All right, hold on. What if uh, it worked? Because they were just right. like listening to everything. After Wayne's brothers superhero movie. I already found it. No, hold on. I'm running off him. That's gonna hear all of that. No, I don't know about that, Ryan. Did you just like oh. to get to sky high? Oh. <laughs> after his grandmother is killed in a mafia hit. Daryl fashions a bulletproof overcoat to wear over long, uh, red long johns, becoming Blank Man, a superhero without any superpowers, save some, uh, Blank save some Man in- is a intentive... Movie directed by Mike Binder, <laughs> I didn't do it! I was messaging my girlfriend! What's that? What's that? <laughs> Wait, is Aaron your girlfriend? No! <laughs> uh, what? Or... 4.9 out of 10. <laughs> yeah. 13% on the uh, tomometer. Tom- tomometer. Ooh, 13%. The cut is at 13. <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't Black Panther hit 98%? Of course it did. Sorry. No, sorry. Continue. I didn't do it. Google did. She's a rude bitch. <laughs> He's telling you what the movie's about. Thank God it's not serious. Yeah, it's about a superhero in a black, I'm assuming an impoverished neighborhood who saved an old lady first and then could Wow. <laughs> No. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's a Wayne's Brother movie. <laughs> uh, when, when Blank Man's crime-fighting crusade causes a sensation around the city of Metro, Daryl's brother, Kevin, David Allen Greer, reluctantly, Greer. Agree- Greer? David Allen Greer? Yeah. Uh, yeah, reluctantly agrees to become Blank Man's sidekick, nice. named Other Guy, to impress nice. local news anchor Kimberly Robin Givens. <laughs> but the mob is fighting... Okay, now that, that, that movie sounds horrible. Hey man, I've seen it's it. It's a Wayne's Brother movie, so but Damon's really the bad. best out of all of them. Really? Yeah. I, so. I thought Marlon, Damon. Marlon's the best out of all. Of them. Marlon's the only one with a career still. Yeah. <laughs> we talking about the fighter of the night, man. Damon Wayne's is in uh, New Damon. Was Damon in Wayne's what? was like leading in, in like in good in color, color, wasn't he? Uh, no, it's not a Wayne's Brother. Yeah. Is it? No, yeah. Yeah, it is Wayne's Brother, but it's like the youngest Wayne's Brother. Yeah. It's not Damon. No. No, but like, okay, so. Damon Damon Wayne's Damon Wayne's was in a show called My Wife and Kids. Was that Damon? Yeah. yeah. Good color. Mm. Sounds, that sounds like a racist show. Okay. <laughs> <Damon Lane's>, uh, <laughs> hosted Damon Lane's by book, me. Uh, Baldwin. Sergeant, the movie. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's Damon Wayans. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, so, okay. so Damon, 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 Damon Wayans. The episodes that we call it in good color. <laughs> <laughs> you have to call it, say, living in good color, okay? <laughs> anyway, so Damon Wayans was... Living color. <laughs> it's a can joke. We, can we have it all in black and white? I know. Yeah. Damon Wayans. This Damon Wayans, like Jim Carrey. Yes, listen. Dam- and, and Marlon. Marlon's in the show, too. Wait, yeah. uh, Damon Wayans was in a show called My Wife and Kids. And yeah. It's about uh, a, you know, a black man, black wife, two, a kids. son and a daughter, right? Okay, so that show gets canceled. And then Marlon Wayans gets a show called Marlon. What's it about? Black man, black wife, his son and his daughter, and their daily struggles. <laughs> it's literally the same exact premise of the show, but they just call it Marlon. It's a classic Marshall uh, I mean, sitcom. Yeah, yeah it's, it's your standard sitcom I mean, George, format. George Lopez. Black family instead of white. Or... Can we talk about Spear Chucker? Spear Chucker Jones? Who's what? that? <laughs> he was, he's the only black guy that was in Marsh. Spear Chucker Jones. Is, is that his name he, in the show or his name life? in the show? He was, uh, he, in what show? Spear Chucker? Ma- uh, Marsh? Mash? Mash? Mash. Oh, yeah. Did, I, say, did Marsh? I say Marsh? You yeah. said Marsh. I don't know so why. Marsh, like, few like, times. Like, like, Marsh, yeah, Marsh, like Marsh. 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 Spear Chucker. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha! <laughs> no, uh, no, his name was Spirit Chucker Jones. And that was, like, allowed on cable television. I completely forgot. Yeah. Oh, what? No, yeah. I knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Did he, yeah. did he literally television. Chuck Spears? No! <laughs> no. <laughs> what the <laughs> show? No, no. <laughs> degradation, just go in. Alright, no. hang on. Um, no. He, it was a time of exploitation. It absolutely <laughs> it could was. Happen. You had a black guy, and they were like, you've got one of those. He's a TV <laughs> show. You no, got it, one. It, no, it was. I like, it was more like, yeah, like mm. Mm. a lot of people like. I don't want to watch Mash anymore. And then a lot oh of no, they were probably like, just like, oh, 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 oh spear chuck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Gosh. I mean, the military. I, I guess know. They're like, they're racist as fuck. I mean, was it a nickname? Did he have an actual other name? Maybe that's just what he was called. He had like, I'm sure he had a first name, but it's like, it's he was like, a it's like Little player. Green. 
Little Green. <laughs> My name is Dende. He's like, oh, this is Little Green. <laughs> a whole spear chucker. Speaking of TFS earlier, mm-hmm. there was the only video game segments of TFS that I will watch is Krillin. Plays. Krillin, dude. I've, I thought about it earlier. Krillin plays Amnesia. Fucking awesome. Krillin plays any scary game. Yeah. It's great. His, <sighs> I watched all of him play Resident Evil 7. Like, I think... I didn't even know it was a thing. I didn't. I haven't watched the um, you bitch, uh, the Machine of Bridge, or uh, Helsing that much. So I'm gonna go back and watch those. Helsing ones. was solid. Helsing has always been solid, but I actually Helsing the Final Fantasy VII, Machine of Bridge, mm-hmm. I did not get into. Not yeah, I tried the first couple episodes and couldn't. I'm gonna watch the whole thing, see if it picks Shit. up. Um, but other than other than that, once DBZ is over. I, Krillin a little bit I like and the two Saiyans play is fun sometimes yes. they did that uh, one Grand Theft Auto Vegeta one where it was like Vegeta playing Grand Theft Auto or whatever and I haven't seen that one that was solid and who that sound good. it was just him uh, but I think the only thing Vegeta Napoli really people good. just talk shit to you in that game like consistently just yeah. walking down the street yeah like, fuck you like, hey that's, that's <laughs> awesome though I think the only thing that's gonna keep me keep me subbed is waiting for them to actually do something Cool and new, and the um, uh, uh, Christmas fucking twenty four days of Christmas mm. countdown. Those are always fun. But speaking of TFS and all of that, let's get on to the highlight of my night. I have been trying so hard, like all day. I was like looking at work, like none of you people watch Dragon Ball Super. I'm like, hmm. What am I going to do? I was oh, like, I guess I'll you know, bide my time. You know, I work with Wes. Yeah, you got that. I don't have that. I'm just like sitting at work like... I miss working with that. Yep. I bet. Well, yeah, it's your fault. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Sweetie. <laughs> yeah. He's talking about stupid and stuff. No, I just get to be quiet and... Here's, you should talk back. about it anyway, even though those people don't... If they don't even know about it, you should just like... Dude, have you seen the newest episode <laughs> every week? Hey, <laughs> move back to the grill and like Coco have your prep job. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. No, I'll just, oh, come on, man. He's not, oh yeah, oh no. Mm-hmm. No, okay, so. I give him that my problem, I'm gonna, I'm gonna preface this. <laughs> my problem with this episode and the past four episodes Don't. has been this. Too much time spent on the people watching it. We are mm-hmm. the people watching it. Yeah. I don't need Go Gohan, Krillin, 18, Vegeta, or not Vegeta, but Beerus all being like, oh, oh, Goku, oh, Vegeta, oh, shit, I can't believe it. And then, Mainly and then, Krillin. it's Ultra. And then fucking. It's Instinct. That shit was dope. I love that, though. I actually love, I love uh, Zeno. But mm-hmm. it's the same thing. Yeah. No, I just, no, no, Zeno, Zeno's like. be so much more. Zeno's impactful. the hype man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Zeno's like, shit, here it comes. And yeah. like, Krillin's just like, oh my God, I can't believe it. That like, thing that just like, happened. They're, they're emoting yes. while and, they're just having a great time. Yeah. And then like. In this last episode, when Vegeta didn't transform to fight Jiren, he couldn't. Have. He, okay, why? He was exactly on his stamina? because he was because the moment like Goku laid there the entire time, he gets that energy from Vegeta, gets up, goes blue. Okay, so here's the thing. Yeah. Hold on. How? Hold on. And that would be okay if they if he didn't just get up after getting the shit knocked out of him and go fucking like his new transformation in the last episode. Right. There are continuity problems. And if you're going to have fucking characters that do nothing but just sit there and explain the episode, then when something like that isn't clear, why the fuck didn't Krillin or, Krillin or somebody say, why is Vegeta transforming? And someone say, oh, he must be out of stamina. Well, that's you the know, whole thing, like, is that Vegeta gave all of his energy to blowing up uh, uh, Topo, right? And so whenever that happened, he was already exhausted. He didn't have enough. He had enough energy to try and transform, but didn't have enough to actually manage holding it. And yeah. so because of that, he was just like literally doing what Goku does with Ultra Instinct, but without the capability. And he's just like trying to like push and push. He keeps getting the shit kicked out of him. And literally gave the last of his energy to like Goku to the point where like Go- Vegeta was just laying there like, and they were like. Eat the sensor beam, dude. Come on, wake up. Just wake up and chew. That's all you have to do. Right. Oh, no, my bruise, no, my eyes are fine, but <laughs> it's cool. But no, um. Sensor beans, man. Sensor beans. God, sensor I wish sensor beans. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to just jam one in my, se- in my head right yeah. now. Man, no, that in would be the. Inside of my God, head. does sensor I would crush one the fuck up and snore. Snore. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Rick <laughs> Flair, I'm alive! Man. That, Ooh, like, I'm so that, healthy right now. Man, you, gotta, you gotta think it feels good. So like, like eating a sensu bean? The entire time that Vegeta is getting the shit kicked out of him, 
Goku's recovering stamina. He mm. hasn't wasted as much as Vegeta did, but he's just laying there like, Vegeta, don't do it. Please Vegeta. just hold out. If you can just hold out and let me get my strength back, we can work together. Staring at him, and he's like not doing it, and he's just like, fuck, fuck, fuck. And then he gets that last bit of energy that Vegeta had, and he's like, all right, I've got enough now. It's time to do this thing. And it didn't even work. <laughs> like, he had enough to be like, blue, shit, and then like gets robbed. Yeah. Back into Ultra Instinct. And like, the thing that pissed me off about that was Pierce being like, for the third goddamn time. Now let's see this ultra instinct. And like, <laughs> we get it. Like, the music goes, da, da, yeah, da, right. da. I know the what's mo- happening. Yeah, the moment <laughs> the music hit, I was already like, mm. yeah, like They wasted so much time in that episode. Boss yeah. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm still super pissed like, Vegeta's it's, off, it's a, though. That's it's, not cool. Super. Pissed. It's a boss battle when they're when the timer's already started at at the beginning of the cutscene, you're like, get through it. I like, I have like only so much time. There's two minutes on the clock, and you're getting through fucking expositional back, well, back you know, bullshit. And like, like things this like is a Dark Souls with, boss battle though. So whenever you get him like halfway, then like he gets up and he powers up and he's got his health back, and then he's twice as strong and he's got twice as much health. Like Vegeta's like, Vegeta's like remembering like or thinking and like feelings and stuff. That part doesn't qualify as time. Because in that moment in time, like when they see your life, it doesn't, flashes it does in the eyes. episode time. It does in our episode time, but it doesn't in, but that's, in universe. I time. don't give a shit about that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm, it's about the episode time. Oh yeah, we're no, running fuck. out of episodes, dude. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna start running out of episodes. Fucking twelve episodes before the end of this goddamn show, we're gonna waste the first three minutes of the show showing you a trailer for last or the uh, the, the trailer for last week. What you're about to or what oh you're about to see God, trailer for last that. week and like a fucking theme song like. I don't need all that. Like, yeah. I don't need you to give me a pre-hype. No. Just I'm the already theme hyped. Theme I use, song is yeah, like, the theme song's fine. all we can forgive. But, bro. like, three minutes and 30 seconds worth of time is taken up, and then an extra minute and a half at the end of the show. Like, you have five minutes worth of time already taken away from your 23-minute you know show. I understand it to a certain degree with the way that Japan approaches television. Like, that's why they have spoilers in, in yeah. their episodes. They, don't, they want to get people hooked when they come into it. I get it on the TV broadcast. Cut it out on the international yeah. stream. I, absolutely. Crunchyroll, like, Funimation, take your shit out. I don't want yeah. to do with that. But like, and I really hope that Funimation is smart enough to take that shit out whenever they get to the dub there. I feel like it, yeah, well, I sure hope so. I mean, because dub's already on um, Verve, too, on the Funimation. Mm-hmm. I feel like they're they would. There's no point in doing it. Yeah. There's no... There's not. Not. Sidebar real quick. The dub is up to uh, Goku Black, mm-hmm. and it's oh, so good. Like, I was stoked whenever they did the whole, like, they did the ocean voice for Vegeta. Mm-hmm. I was super, I was like hyped about that shit. But like, when it came to like Goku, they still had Sean Shemmel mm-hmm. playing Goku Black. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. And he's just like grungy and like, I didn't like it. It was just like, it was a major turnoff for me. I, I don't know, because Goku Black was still Goku, but he just sounded sinister. He didn't sound like a completely like different voiced character. See, he sounds, to me, he sounds he like... the same body, he would have the same voice. No, he, and he sounds he, like... It was the same voice man. actor for Goku Black in the sub. That, that's what I... Yeah. He sounds... That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay, okay. To me, he sounds like three, just like oh, a little yeah, bit like... Yeah, like a little raunchy, um, like ready like to go. Like more, more menacing. Like like three, three is just like super focused and just like... You can hear the dead and the anger tone to yeah, his voice. Yeah, yeah. But like Goku Black, it just made it... It, it felt like he was just... I don't know, coming off as, like, trying to form a new character. Instead of just being, like... Well, I mean, he is, though. That's why... I know, but that's what I adored about the, the the Japanese version, is that Goku... It sounded exactly like Goku, but he just had bad intentions. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was good. That was good for me. It's literally just Goku, but now he's evil. And you're like, yeah. Yeah. Which, by the way... Well, I mean, maybe if... Something if, about... If Masako didn't do... Four voices in the show, then she probably would have done something right. new for. And maybe I mean, she's a female; she can only do so much as far as like having a deep, right. like range. Yeah, I mean, there was a. I like I liked the, the, the. I mean, the I, sub I, I enjoyed Goku I enjoyed Black. it too, but I don't. Oh. I also I like the. I mean, it's the same body, so it had the same like, vocal like vocal muscles and timber and everything, but it is a completely different person. It's not mm. Goku, you know. It's. it's yeah. Okay. Spoilers for you dub fans, but it's a Masu, so it's going to have a different, like, voice and character to the voice and yeah, everything. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's fine, because I don't watch the dub version that much, you know? See, I'm getting more into the dub than I am the sub at this really? point. Man, I think yeah. the only reason I was sold on dubbed 
during Toonami days was because of all that fucking crystalline music. Anytime something happens, see the music. Is, music sounds yeah. better now. Like music that, is the uh, Japanese music is so much better. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, here's a, here's a thing. Sorry, go ahead. I stayed up and watched the uh, Universe Seven tournament arc all over again. What the dub? Uh, Goku. Oh, okay. Goku's American boner for uh, for hit, and like, oh man, it's really funny. You know who it's, stood out to me in the dub? Was uh, Monaka? <laughs> Seems he was more relatable as a mm-hmm. like a humor character. Did yeah. we talk about Monaka last is time? More than um, in the, I don't the know if we did or not. sub version because in the sub yeah. version you can you can tell right. In the dub version, I just feel like he'd be a lot more like. He's really hey. subtle. He's really like. like he, the, the it boots. just seems more natural how he's like aware that he is completely unfit for yeah. this role he's being pushed into. And why didn't Beerus pick somebody else? Like, what, because it was, he, to, it was to push Goku. Right. Why didn't he pick another creature though that actually seemed like it? Some yeah, maybe somebody that would actually be able, be able to, to yeah. be better, or actually be better than him. Like well, we're, I, we're, I, I don't know if you could find that easy. Because like, like, m- maybe. I mean, maybe he wanted somebody that wouldn't want to get into the into the ring. Like an actual mm. fighter might be like, "Come on, let me see if I can." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. You need somebody to be like, "Oh yeah, I'm super strong." Right. But yeah. I don't know. It just kind of um, the the idea that they they didn't have enough time for the universe survival arc to go find another fighter because there's like what they said nine other planets with human or with um with life on it that right. like is able is capable of being a fighter but they didn't have enough time to go scour those nine planets because they only had like what 45 minutes of prep time or some mm-hmm. shit but like you did an entire other tournament and you didn't check like you were just like no this guy's good I like him yeah <laughs> we'll take him yeah, you had we'll much take more time prior friends. to that yeah like you had all this time to go <laughs> and, but no Beerus is just like nah food that's cool Beerus is lazy oh man Beerus is pretty fucking lazy like but I mean, lazier than Champa. <laughs> so, they're yeah. lazier than Champa. Actually, knew these people and gone out. Oh, he didn't do it. No, he made his angel do it. Was the it? only time he actually approached one was whenever he approached Frost. He's like basically like, you come to my thing and I make it so you're okay, right? And that and that would happen in the survival arc anyway. He was like, oh, yeah, because he was like, last time you tried to fuck us over, but here's what'll happen. And like, I'll, I'll make sure that you're forgiven or some shit. Right. And like, you come do a, do this job for me. It's one last job and job route. We're getting this jab cannon here. I'm gonna shoot you up the jab, and I'm make your job easy. Make your own jab cheese. Jab cheese. Now to to address the white elephant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, no, the the. The black and blue one, first of all. That's what I was getting to, actually. Was um, whenever he went blue, Toriyama said that he was gonna make his hair white, but he didn't want it to conflict with the next uh, arc. That is what he said whenever he designed the blue. Hmm. Super Interesting. Scene. Interesting. Uh, but no, I was actually talking about uh, Vegeta. Nah, yeah. Um, black and blue. Up, uh, literally. <laughs> got his ass. Got him. Whooped. Yeah, the, no, that. Yeah, the the entire first half of this episode was just Vegeta, just getting, Vegeta his getting, getting his ass handed to him yeah. and then knocked off stage. I was, I was literally in the middle of texting Aaron, being like, "This is fucking bullshit. This is this is bullshit. <laughs> hey, this, I, I, like, this. I, I knew, like, I knew he was gonna go off this episode, yeah. but fuck, not like this. Right. Yeah. And then he like pulled himself back up and got that last last yeah. stand. It's like, okay, like, yeah. Like, I, I mean, he, went I, out like he a still just G. ended up getting his ass. Like there was no he last fought, stand. He fought yeah, so he well. He fought to the bitter end with yeah. no fucking energy left. You know what's yeah. gonna happen, guys? Hmm. Fucking Goku's gonna win. Frieza. I told you. I told you this from Goku's the beginning. Goku's not gonna win. I told you that's this why. From the that's why everyone's forgotten about Frieza. I t- Goku's not. Going I know. To win. I know. Right? Frieza's just there. I. I. It fucking bothers me. Yeah. But he's gonna get his wish, and then like Frieza's gonna be the wish back to life, and it's like, oh, so nothing ever mattered. Is that how we're just gonna do things? Nothing ever fucking mattered. I'm genuinely, Whoa. I'm genuinely scared because Dragon Ball Super broke my trust right at the start with the Resurrection F with the with Weiss's bullshit like we were talking about earlier, like just that retcon bullshit. Like it's already like Dragon Ball's nothing matters anyway, but we can literally re- rewind time now. There's yeah. a god above that. Like I'm almost, I'm almost scared. You're that, top tier god now. 
What? You're top tier God. They yeah. can't go any higher. Unless they go creator of all like, exactly. they, things and ever. And with, <laughs> with, I mean, Super Saiyan was supposed to be top tier, and look where uh-huh. we've come from that. Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem with Dragon Ball. There's no like established power scale, so it just keeps on escalating higher That's and higher. That's why I like but One Piece. What? That's why I like One Piece, is because yeah. you had, it's like we're all human, you know what I mean? Yeah. Keep it that way, and you're good to go. There's a there's a really good essay, uh, a video essay, essay that um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> you're good. That um, talks about like power scaling problems in anime, and they use mm-hmm. Dragon Ball and One Piece as like the two comparisons. I'll have to find it for you, but one, yeah, One Punch Man. <laughs> yeah, that's still haven't watched it. I've seen the first episode. And One Punch Man pieces. broke the scale. One point, yeah. One Punch Man is decidedly <clears throat> stronger than Goku. Like. Feasibly stronger, and this guy all he did was push ups and sit ups. <laughs> like, yeah. but like because of and plenty of juice. Yeah, plenty of juice. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he like did. He some, ran also. He also did run. He ran a lot. And, and he did squats. Oh yeah, I, forgot. I did forget that. No, he slapped the. No, he's not slapped. He um the guy that he beat like was a planet destroyer, and like he was able to what punch a planet and make it explode. Basically, like he was like that guy, and One Punch Man was just like. Mm. Consecutive normal punches, yeah. <laughs> and, did, 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 the other guy was and the dude, his move. yeah, <laughs> like he just fucking dies. And so, like that guy is like one punch or Saitama is stronger than Goku by by power scaling regions, mm-hmm. like <laughs> which is obscene to me. But but um, she was named after a small town that was like drastically affected by nuclear fallout. Nope, <laughs> I knew I knew he was like an internet. Uh, little webtoon like he was just like a little drawn cartoon like a shitty little oh yeah that's how it started yeah. Yeah. but uh, that's what that's what worries me is we're gonna get to the end of the universe survival arc and at best we're finally for the first time in the series named after them Gonna finally actually use the Super Dragon Balls, I mean, and retcon everything. It's exactly it. That's. Like, <laughs> I mean, or or. What if something something's gonna go fucking shitty gonna the last erased. minute? And then the memories. Seven, yeah, seven could get erased and then get wished back, and Zeno to decide. I'm just gonna wipe everybody's memories because it didn't go the way that I wanted to. I don't think they're going to take it that I far. Think I, I would not be surprised. Or they just rewind time or or just like... I, you know, I was kind of worried. It never happened or something like That's that. That's why I said I, meant, I was thinking about it in the shower. It was because I thought, what if like Universe 7 like lost? And right when Universe 7 lost, Whis was like... And, like whoop, 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 and then like Goku was like... Well, Whis can't go back that far. He can only go back two minutes. Right. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's like right when Goku got knocked mm. off, he'd be like... No. Nope, 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 nope. Fuck you guys. I no. Mean, no. I, doubt, I doubt that happens because the Grand Priest would outstand time in space. I assume yeah. he'd be like, what mm. the fuck? Hell no. <laughs> Get your ass off the stage. But what I think... And I, I've been telling you guys from the beginning, Vegeta's gonna lose. Yeah. And Goku's, Goku's gonna be top dog, like always. But yeah. the way I think... It's gonna play out. I haven't watched any spoilers in a while, so I don't know. But I feel like either Frieza's gonna like, like it's gonna be like really close between Jiren and Goku, and like the last punch of like Goku about to get knocked off. Fucking Frieza comes out of nowhere and fucking hits Jiren so hard because remember, if he's distracted, he doesn't know. He's consciously unaware that Frieza's still on the stage. Right. I'm sure of it. And so like, if Frieza hits him with something big enough, he can knock Jiren off. And so I think that's like Frieza's kind of biding his time right now. And he's getting his stamina back. But. Yes, and st- he's, like, we're going to see Gold Frieza again. He's not Saiyan. Let's go ahead yeah. and make that clear. He's not right. Saiyan. Saiyans get their stamina back because of the fucking uh, mm-hmm. uh, Zenkai. Zenkai. So, but but I mean, if he just takes his time and like he's chills out for a minute, he's well, the Zenkai him. is that's not Saiyan. Is, we're going to see Gold yeah, Frieza again. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. no, every no. the Zenkai boost is strictly Saiyan. I mean, he's not getting stronger, right? That's well, not he's, about he's, even, but he's not getting stronger. But I'm saying like their their stamina recovery is. Strictly. That's why we haven't seen him for an entire episode. He's laying He's around. He's unconscious. <laughs> Is he? He got the shit kicked out of him that's, by Jiren. That's true. <laughs> Remember like, his 30 seconds? Yeah. Yeah, he came in like, I'm a fucking nerd. I'm actually, you like, know what? Fuck the rules. Yeah. I'm gonna kill you. So, like, <laughs> so I see Frieza coming in and saving the day. My only problem Ow. is... Ow! Is that Frieza... Is a bitch. Frieza has yeah. more knockoffs than Goku does. 
So currently, Frieza is MVP. I think that Vegeta still has the most. He is not in the ring anymore. Mm. So if Universe 7 wins, whoever's left on the stage is MVP. I thought anybody could... I know. I thought, I don't I thought think they established it, that. It's like whoever sure. had. It, I thought at the beginning they stated that it was whoever had the most knockouts, and was in universe one. Okay, and so but, I, yeah. but you I, could, assumably it'd be like no, that doesn't say still in like, players, right? No, you no. you would really think that they'd be like no, oh, because Vegeta, they don't say, you whoever, know? Right. whatever remaining fighter, like the remaining fighter with the most knockouts, would be the better way to say that well, because if you like, say restart right. the whole arc and like yeah. just yeah. go on a because you just play. say the fighter with the most knockouts from the could last knock surviving everybody universe. everybody out the ring and yeah. then immediately get knocked off. Yeah, be the first one that got knocked off and had the most knockouts. But then he still be the MVP. But that's why I say that like being out like kind of no, makes okay, hold on. You don't if, get allowed to be the MVP if you're not in the ring. You know why? Why if because you're not the most valuable player if you're not a player. I mean, but you get MVP at the end of the game. You get MVP at the end of the game. I understand how I'm understand. talking here. I understand how MVP works. <laughs> okay. Do you? Yes. I'm loving it. Core concept wise, there's a player in the game. If you are out of the game, you have been knocked out of the game. You're no longer a player in this game. Yeah, there are you can be finals there MVP. Are I get that you can, but this isn't basketball. It's a fucking fighting That's tournament. That's how an MVP That's works. That's how it though. works in fighting tournaments. Hey, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> If Jiren were to win after knocking nobody off but fucking 17, Vegeta, and Goku, and Frieza, four people, pl- plenty of people have knocked off more than that from 11, I'm sure, okay. right? Then Topo's. No, the most valuable player would be Vegeta. Simple play. He's... No, he's talking about a Universe 11 one. Right. Yeah. Well, if... Yes. Yes, so you see what I'm, you see what I'm right. saying. Like, take someone who hasn't knocked off many people at all. Like, or, like, someone, like, who just knocked off, who didn't fight at all. Say, like, Jiren didn't knock off anybody. Topol knocked off everybody mm-hmm. until but Goku. Jiren, but Jiren won. But Jiren won. Jiren knocked off Goku and he won. Would Jiren be the I MVP would, that would or be would my, my assumption would, the way I feel about it and the way I thought it was stated was that. Because then they should just say the last remaining fighter. Uh-huh. Well, in that case, but that was the whole thing is that they didn't because expect they, it to be a one-on-one fight. They no, it's it always going to come down. I mean, I know, I know how it was, <laughs> it's a show, and it's always going to come down to it. Yeah. But like, the 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 concept of the tournament was like you can still have four players on and make sure you throw all your your losing guys off if like they're unconscious laying down. Then sure there's no distinction between the victor and the most valued player. Um, getting off of this tangent. Um, <laughs> I think that I think Jiren, Jiren and Topo should have been reversed. Really? Oh yeah, they're just like yeah. Like, I mean, cause... like think about it. <sighs> no, go ahead. Like a they they set up Topo more. They set up this idea of someone who's as powerful as a god of destruction. And you have Jiren. Mm, you have Jiren as this. You have Jiren as this. Yeah, you have Jiren as this red herring. You think that Jiren's like. Like the tough guy, like the one to look out for. Mm-hmm. Goku and Vegeta like pull together. You see Ultra Instinct for the first time. You see True Blue for the first time. They knock off Jiren. They're like, "Fuck yeah, this guy was gonna go through Universe Eleven. We got this." Come to find out, fucking Topo is a god, it, of, destruction. Is a god of destruction. Holy shit! Like, you and we've actually, and he's like, Topo's a more interesting character than Jiren too. Honestly, yeah. I agree. And you know, not, because after, spent, not after he became a god of destruction. I don't no, think but I mean. As, they they spent more time establishing Topo. They spent I'll more look, time I look getting in personality. Said, too little, too late. Like it was such a fucking bore of a story, dude. Yeah. Like oh my god, I I didn't Topo. I had a bunch of no. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna talk uh, to you about that. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, Jiren's like, oh, I've got everybody. Oh, now I have nobody. Guess I should get everybody again. Oops, now I have nobody again. Well, I guess that means nobody. And like just. You know, like being a loner the rest of his life, but then got like followers because they're like, "Oh yeah, Jiren, you're so strong, you're so cool." And then, and then he's like, "And that's my that's my reason." What was his actual reason? <laughs> Mike, Mike's right, is what he thinks. Yeah, yeah. strength. Yeah. Okay, yeah. no, but what is his reasoning for needing the Super Dragon Balls to Wait, wish back his wish. family? Maybe Jiren's Maybe. wish. That could be. But I mean, I think the, probably what would happen to that story? <laughs> would, it become, power, would, would it become that child? That's what I'm again? saying. That's what I'm trying to figure and, out clear. <laughs> and here's here's what I brought up last week. Like, if if he believes that might makes right and strength is justice, might makes right. 
Then why is he Cut. still? Then why is he still so pissed about like the people killing his family? Like they were stronger. Yeah, like, that's it, just, I, yeah I don't think he is anymore. Is that the? Isn't that I mean, that yeah. seems that's to be like he's, he's let go of. He all, rationalizes like, that being yeah. but like, capable, was it, like possible because it might make right. Wasn't the conversation that they had like, why do you need the super dragon balls? Right, and he's just like, oh no, no reason. And then the clown's like, oh, well, I'll tell you everything. Hold on, <laughs> like gives out all these details, and he's like, well. He's, still didn't answer the question here and like I just want to know what what's Jiren gonna wish for he's like I wish all the universe is back huh there you go cause uh, that's the way this is gonna win it, it's gonna there's three wishes that can be made here Jiren I wish everybody back Goku I wish everybody back Frieza I wish I was back <laughs> <laughs> like that's it those are the only three wishes that no, we can get no get rid of uh, Dilosama to become oh yeah, yeah he yeah, wants to kill all the gods happen. yeah I wish that you didn't exist and he's like well because who created the big ass dragon? Right. He's Mr. Popo. Did he create the big ass dragon? He created everything. Zeno? He well, created okay, everything. Yeah, I guess technically. <laughs> he created all the universes. Did, did God make this beer? I think so. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Kami. Yeah. God. It's Supreme Kami. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Green. Super Supreme Kami. Kami. Yeah, Super Kami Guru. Lord Super Green. Kami Day. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. I just wanted, like, a really, you guys saw the white hair, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How do you feel? Are you excited? Eh. Is, is seven year old you cream his jeans right now? No. Yours are. Uh, yours no. are. I never, <laughs> I never considered a white haired uh, Super Saiyan. Every I was probably, really? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was gonna happen. Every Super Saiyan five from the age of seven to yep, thirteen has had, had white, white hair. hair. I swear to God, glowing yeah. white hair. I even remember with uh, Absalon, there was the white hair too, like. It has just been, everybody's like, oh, where do you go from gold? White. <laughs> Duh, the purest of the pure. And, like, I love it. I love it, but I, you know, I hate it at the same time. It's like, oh, come on, dude. Like, <laughs> you could have done that. Monster goes on point with his uh, Super Saiyan color theory, apparently. What? Yeah. The, the lighter it is, the more uh, well, like, st- strong you are? Like, no, like, um, <laughs> you said, fire the, the you said we're pure. <laughs> like, um,. Masako X, uh, Goku from TFS on his channel has a has a video about the Super Saiyan colors and how they relate to like chakra colors yeah. and stuff. Yeah, it does. And like white is purified perfection, you know, and all, all of that. Like that's I'm, like I'm really excited. All of your shit. Like I know I know who you are. And I know how you feel, but like I am so fucking stoked. Yeah, it's still hype. Like like I said, I, this is all nostalgia for me at this point. And if if I had a nostalgia boner, Toriyama knows how to stroke, dude. <laughs> like this so is pure. We got <laughs> weirdest way to put it. We hey, have man, 129, 130, and 131, right? Mm-hmm. That's we have a trilogy left. We have an hour basically left. We haven't so we have an hour left of of Dragon Ball. Of two minutes. Yeah, basically. If the next couple of if the next episode is all fight, no bullshit, uh-huh. because that's what it has to Did be. Did you see those hands? Yeah. Did you see those hands? Yeah. They're, they're all, all, all the way, way back here. That shit was nuts. I was like, they're not even over there. He got arms over there. He got arms over there. That shit was cool. No, they are over there. It's yeah. like they're moving. That's the most not. Sorry. No, no, <laughs> bu- no bullshit wasting time on like. Curling, explaining every goddamn punch that Goku yeah. lands. Get to the fucking fight. We have one episode to get to it because the next episode is going to have to resolve everything because the last episode is going to have to be a time skip. Uh, so, progression wise, it's going to go Goku and Jiren. It's going to be like a talking beginning. And they're going to be like, oh, oh shit, Goku going to Ultra Instinct. Oh shit, I wonder if it's what's about to happen. Did you see that punch he landed? And then they're like, they're going to start fighting. They're going to fight. They're going to fight. Commercial break. They're going to fight. They're going to fight. Goku goes white hair. End of, end of episode. Yeah, I feel like they go white hair beforehand. Oh, like and the classic... Go God- I'm it 16 minutes. The classic goddamn anime trope of yeah. having a two, three part finale and the fight ending halfway through one of the episodes. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and the rest of it is all wrap up. Mm-hmm. Because like they at the, at one they they'll have to do the end of the fight and then they'll have to do Wrap the end up. of the tournament. Right. And then 131 will be them talking about what, ha- like, you know, this is, oh, well, I'm so glad Goku's like, oh, look, pants are growing up. And it's going to be like, you know, like, it's going to be like the day before 
the, the tournament. The tournament. Yeah. yeah. So, um, there's obviously games. There's a movie coming out, but as of now, there is no plan to make a any more, any more Dragon Ball like oh, I, series. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that last episode. You know what I mean? Because they they are. Whatever's going to happen will be announced at, I forget what con, but something in March. But we do have to prepare ourselves for the fact that, I mean, Dragon Ball was over for fucking almost for, 18 for years. 20, yeah, 18 years. Yeah. yeah. Mm, I I feel like, yeah, they're going to announce it in March. Wait, 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 it wait, wait, will wait, be, wait. It would correlate with the convention. No, it was more than 18 years because it was mm-hmm. 1995. It was, it's, it's 18 years after the Majin Buu arc. Is it? Majin Buu ended in 1995. That's yeah, but the show started in 2016. No, it, when did the show start? 2016. 16. Yeah, Superstar in 2016. Well, when did when did uh, so the Battle of Gods come out? Battle of Gods came out. 2015. Yeah, 14. It was. Oh, it was 15. It was 15. No, yeah, yeah no, it was 15. It was uh, 15 early early, early that's 2015. That's, that's, most that's 20 years. Yeah. yeah. Came out dubbed in 2015. Right. Yeah, it came out like. Like it was, like, it was like 2013. Was like, I got it. Wait, we got it. Oh yeah, because no, like, yeah, no, yeah, 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 no. It was 2000. It was like 2013 that we got it they, subbed. It was because it, was, it came out subbed. I didn't want okay, it 18, subbed. 18 years. Yeah. yeah. So, but that I mean anyway. That's what Verb tells me. After 18 years, says he had Majin Buu episodes. Right. But um, yeah, I know it. It they, it could just be done. It's not going to be. It's one of the biggest money makers right now. And One Piece but, is like not too far off itself. Yeah, One Piece is like coming to a finale too. Really? Yeah, and so after like, about a thousand episodes. <laughs> so like, and like, and, and they're not gonna. I know they're not gonna base all of their anime money, American anime money, off of Boruto, a new show made by the creator of Naruto. Not not saying Boruto is that Boruto is that, but they're making another one, mm-hmm. and then uh, a Yu Yu Hakusho movie. They're and you're just gonna like end One Piece and and Dragon Ball. Like, psh, good fucking luck. Like. I feel like they just. I mean, they're kind of lucky to get a new Dragon Ball series to begin with. Like, oh, they, probably, no. they if, probably need a break. Now, I think it depends. She on... She straight up said she wanted 300 episodes. The voice of, of Boruto? Goku. No, of, of Dragon Ball Super. Oh. Uh, the voice of Goku. Mm-hmm. She said that she wanted. To, she was hoping that they would make it to episode. Uh, no, she but I mean, she's seven. not. She's not an animator. Right, no, she's, she's not, not an animator, she's not a director. But she's... as long as she's willing to keep doing the voice... Then, then that means they, if they decide to go that far, they'll have her for that. Yeah, yeah, but like, what I'm saying is like she hoped that, plus you're saying that whatever happens will be announced at the convention in March, and the beginning of March will be episode Maybe. 131, mm-hmm. right? So, I imagine, I'm just like, sitting here like, in a Dragon Ball, oh... For more adventures with Goku and friends, turn into Dragon Ball Z. But that was just know? a transition in in the anime. Like I know, like that wasn't like the series is coming to to an end. It was just Toei was just like, hey, um, these new chapters are way different. Let's uh, let's rebrand this show. So it wasn't like there was no Dragon Ball. It's coming to an end, like it is with Super. Yeah. Like that's what I'm just saying. Is like I'm hoping that at the end of it. Be like surprise, yeah, fooled you guys. That, I mean, that that'd be or just like a one thirty two, or don't pick at least don't pick up at the movie and be like, oh, this is what you missed. At the, you know, this right. is what happened between then and there, and now like we're gonna, but then we're gonna go back in time and tell you everything that you missed about the fucking legendary Super Saiyan. Like, right? I just want more. You know what I mean? Like, that is something for me that at at six thirty, I'll be like sitting there and I'll be like open my phone and I'll say six thirty Saturday whatever date, and I'm just like. Oh shit! Oh thank God! It's only six thirty. Oh, oh man! I was <laughs> like one more hour, and then I'm like I'm stoked for the next hour. Like, like I can't wait. Here it comes, and then like my show comes on, and like it's like the purest half an hour of my life. Man, like, I feel that. I was like so excited I, for like that half an hour. I'm just like, yes. So I, good. I walked from my job to KC's last night, and. It takes one full episode of Dragon Ball Super to get there. <laughs> yes, and like I was, walking yeah, in walking. <laughs> yep. yeah. No, no, no shit. Just like, oh uh, yeah, this is good. I'm, I'm a, well, I was bitching out loud. There's about a good half of my year, our year actually, that's taken up by the entire week just waiting mm-hmm. on the next RVB or Ruby. Yeah. Which is yeah. like, 
just classic, that classic, but just that just that feeling because that's that's a feeling I don't get that feeling from watching Super. Really? Yeah. I get that. I get that feeling from hearing Goku. Like all in all, like the minute I hear Goku, I'm just like, yep, fucking, I'm excited. Even at the end of the episode, literally was sitting there watching Verve, uh, and it kept stopping uh, on my Crunchyroll. It just kept stopping. Like mid watch, and the last, literally last second of the episode, it was the uh, episode one twenty seven. It was like that last scene where you see like Vegeta like kicking at Jiren. Mm-hmm. I was like, it like stopped loading, and I was like, like there's one second left in it. I'm like, come on, I just want to see this last clip. I like, all I need to see a boot. That's it. Come on, man. And like, I waited. <laughs> like it was like a four minute buffer time for one second, oh. dude. And I waited for that. It's a hype I mean, thing for me. But let's let's presume that it is the end of of Dragon Ball as a in a serial format. I would like to see more one shots and more OVAs and stuff. Honestly, I like, mean, if they gave me a fucking history of Trunks, like him learning to be a Supreme Kai and dealing with Goku Black, mm-hmm. would watch absolutely. Absolutely, I would love something like that. Maybe like some hit stories or something mm-hmm. like that. That'd, yeah. that. that'd be a great place to explore Universe, Universe Six. Six. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Especially like Ka- uh, Kefla. Like, because I think that's or Kaba. I like I like Kefla because she's like Mitsurugi. Hmm? Is it Kefla? No, I'm saying it wrong. Kalifla. Kal- 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 Wiz Ka- Wiz Ka- Wiz Khalifla. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, she's dead. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Um. But how does everybody feel about this potentially after all the things we've been through being the last arc ever? Ever. Not good. Uh, <laughs> not, I mean, not well, feel good at all. Uh, Go- oh, man. Doesn't Goku still have to host the Olympics? Is Goku host? Oh, that's. I don't think that's canon. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, sure no. I'm Goku's pretty sure hosting the, the Japanese Olympics. No, that's, 2020 Olympics? that's yeah. happening. But I'm pretty sure that's, that's not like, canon with the storyline. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> no, that's no, like, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. There's that it totally is. Oh it's not. God. I know it's not canon. No, it's like I've had five boys. It's canon. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I gotta go. I gotta go host the Olympics. I'll be back. Oh my god. Oh man, he's re- he's really fast. I want to fight it. That's why he's recruiting Oob, so that you can go host the Olympics. He's going to the Olympics <laughs> with it's Oob. Been planned 18 years in the making. Like, no way. It's in the 2020, right? Yeah, but man, they should have made super last until then. So like the last episode, he could have just instant transmission to the right live there. broadcast. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! I'm, I'm sorry, Aaron. Go on. Oh, oh no, that would be. I'm that clipping would be this. Cool. And that would be amazing. Story, I'm yeah. clipping like, this. And you fuck it. up. You got <laughs> it wrong. Uh, we know how your story. You have two is. years to fix this. <laughs> With how much is coming out from uh, like from like Super or from like Dragon Ball, there's no way they're not gonna come back and make more. I mean, like, there's right. such it a high a, point right a, now. It's called a cash cow. Uh, yes. <laughs> that is exactly Ooh. what's happening. They they are making a shit ton of money. Honestly, that like what it, I mentioned a lot. It well, de- it depends on Toriyama. I mean, Toei, absolutely. Toei, Toei just sees Toei just sees dollar signs, but yeah. Toriyama sees. Where can I go from here? My where story, can I go from my here? My story got fucked. I'm a I'm a gag writer. Yeah. Like things have gotten way out of hand. Like if Toriyama can like pass it off to Toei Taro and be like. Do your thing. Do your thing. I'm I'm out. I'd watch it. I, I'd watch it. I'm cool with it. I think it'd be. Who's the uh, uh, artist and and or storyboardist for the manga? Toy Taro. Is it Toy Taro? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, no, I, I would all all day and tomorrow. Like yeah. I it, the that story depth gets me way more than anything that I watch. But mm-hmm. the reason I watch is because man, it's, what do you mean it's fucking <laughs> yeah, it's Dragon Ball. It's Dragon Ball. I gotta be there. You know what I mean? Right. But I mean, it's I'm, Dragon Ball. I, you gotta be there. like. <laughs> Honestly, like, <laughs> hard as I try, I can't, like, I, I enjoy it more now than I used to, but I can't really connect to sub-voices because it's not emoting really? in my language. I, I, like, get, I get that, but part, I watch so much anime that, like, it feels like it's, I can understand, like, I, I know I can't feasibly understand, but it is ingrained in me to understand the emotion. No, I, 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 I get that. I definitely do. I mean, I can, I can empathize with it, but... When a dub is done well and it comes across in your own culture, mm-hmm. like it just you know it works. It, yeah, absolutely, exactly. It's kind of like no one I would talk about it about. recently about like 
Indian music. Like it's hard to relate to like Eastern kind of music because it yes. uses a different like scale and everything than like you're conditioned to. The sitar is a song, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm watch the sub because that's where where we are. It's mm. easier to watch the sub. Actually, it's possible. It wasn't possible to watch the sub when yeah, we were kids. Shit. Um, but yeah. yeah, that's kind of where I am with that too. Well, like, see, like manga dub sub, but. It's all yeah, Dragon I'm, Ball. It's all good. I'm manga sub dub mm -hmm. because manga sub dub. Manga sub dub. Manga sub dub. I, I really like. I don't know. Like I said, that that uh, that feeling I get the minute like the minute I saw white hair Goku, I went, and then my brain went, "No, nah, Nick, that's stupid. That's stupid, <laughs> Nate. You don't like that." And I'm like, "Yeah, you're right. I, I'm sorry, brain." And like I I wanted to feel heavy about it, like the same feeling I got when, but I never had that spoiler feeling with. With Dragon Ball Z, like when Goku went Super Saiyan, I didn't see that. Sh I mean, I saw shit coming, you know what I mean, because it's been talked about a bunch. But like, I didn't actually have that little clip. Like, I, you know, it, it, it felt like it didn't expose as much of the episode back in the day. Oh, and okay. now it feels like I'm getting so much info put towards what's about to happen that I don't actually get to sit back and enjoy it unless it's moments like where Vegeta fucking punched. Uh, black through a building. Oh, yeah. That um, shit was hype. You know? A lot of Dragon Ball Super's problems come down to the fact that it isn't a, a Saturday or weekly serial. It is a Sunday morning. And Sunday morning in Japan is kids. It's a lot yes. more... And that's what... That's why I keep saying, like, I know that you feel like it should be heavier. Or it should be, like, more in-depth and, you know, it should have that story feel to it but I, like I always say it's still just a kid's show you know yeah no I mean I get that for kid. things like like the violence and stuff mm -hmm. but you can have like you can have character development in a kid's show that goes over a kid's head yeah you can so they're just they're just looking at the images right, yeah. right. Like I mean your time like I get that there's absolutely there are Steven Universe there's some things I oh, understand. Steven Universe is so hard. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, there's the... There's the lack of, of violence and all of that. There's the um, making it way more marketing friendly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the taking shortcuts because, you know, reused animation, oh, bad writing God. at times. How many yeah. feet did you see last episode? <laughs> How many times did you see, like... Feet. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> yeah. Feet are hard to drop. No, <laughs> just like in boots, yeah. They're just doing this. Like every every other shot was like slide, slide, <laughs> plant, <laughs> plant. Yeah. I mean, I you know, and they do it a lot. They do reuse a lot of shots. Yeah. That but, jeer and punch though, that was cool. I mean, it's always been like that though. Oh yeah. Right into this like, external. Oh yeah, that shit was dope. Places, was but there's man, the, his eyes his changed. Act, yeah. No, his his eyes are normally darker. And, like, you could see his pupils just perfectly. Normally, you can't very well. Like, right. and he normally has, like, the eye color changes and whatnot. And it made him look a little more human. It, yeah. Like, like I that. feel like that has something to do with his power. Like, you can... His eyes? Well, well, his eyes obviously do. Well, yeah. Whenever his eyes, like, flicker yellow, something, like, he's able to do something. And right. whenever they flicker red, he's able to do something else. But... So, remember. Like, you can knock that power out of him. Oh, yeah. Basically. 16 minutes in. That's when we're getting white hair. And we're, yep, I'm four. calling it now. You're going to go for four minutes in? That is 30 no. seconds into the episode. Okay, well, <laughs> oh, damn it. Yeah, I was thinking of actual episode time. Oh, so you're going to start... No, I'm starting from like zero the point or zero I think zero, right zero, before to, right before the midpoint where the... 11.45. Uh, end of episode. <laughs> I'm going for end of episode. Really? That's why I said 16 minutes because it's four minutes to the end. Nope, right at the midpoint. It's going to happen. Nah, it's gonna be a minute of him changing. They do, they do that all the time. And you know, they've it. done that. All. The you standoff know. is gonna be a minute, and then the end of the episode is gonna be them like just learning to fight, and then the la la second last episode is gonna be the real fight. Because like that hand swinging, that that is a solid six seconds right there. Yeah. Like all in all, just like watch watch the counter. It's gonna be like one Mississippi, two Mississippi. And so okay, and then a cut to Krillin. I was gonna say so six seconds plus six <laughs> seconds from everybody else's perspective. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then that's why I say sixty minutes. No. You're gonna get there. Yep. Like there's. It's going to end with White. The next episode is going to the mid. The fight will be over by the mid break of the next right. episode because of a surprise that happens by Frieza. 
<laughs> Breeze is making a comeback. He's gonna get there. Or, or he's just gonna yeah. like get, he's gonna get up woozy, just like <laughs> like the the eerie like shit's gone completely yeah, wrong. wrong. Like it's, that was the coolest shot in the last episode was where in this episode was Goku on the ground looking up at Jiren. Like, dude, that that spoke fucking that moved mountains for me, dude. Like. That shit was heavy. I've never seen, like, and his hair was still up, and it was, like, dropping. It was just, like, this kind of, like, black silhouette yeah. type. Yeah. I don't know. It was just something. I've never seen Goku in a position of, like, oh, I'm about to die, you know? He looked scared. He looked very intimidated at this moment. He's just like, like don't do it, Jiren, please, no. <laughs> mm. Well, then that like punch he charges up. Like, like, all right, I can't Man, hit I him again. Like, normally, we're, <laughs> we're literally just <laughs> thinking this. Where does where did, where did he get the power from? Like like Who, where does Jiren? yeah old no Ultra Instinct? Oh, like he they went he went from him. literally nothing. Oh, the legendary Super Saiyan, his his soul lives inside of him. Man, I th- yeah, we've talked no, about but, that before. Well, because that's what he said was that's what Tori about said was that like the the only he, his soul after he died. He, he made his soul go into the ether, and it would not shut up. It would not be awakened until five pure-hearted Saiyans came together, and then his soul would be utilized. And so, like every whenever Goku went Super Saiyan God for the first time, that was his soul being relit. And so, like that's awesome. That I hate Japan. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is so awesome. No, I'm I'm okay with it. I, don't know <laughs> I know. I like, feel the same no. way. I know. I'm like I'm like. Why is it? No, that's not dumb at all. It's like, that's, uh, it's like it's not that's cool because it's not Goku going fucking Super Saiyan God. Yeah, it's it's another guy. Oh yeah, yeah and Goku, Goku's gonna get mad about it. He's gonna tr- figure out a way to pull the God out of him, <coughs> and Zach, then he's gonna get to fight him. Zach, I don't want to make a legitimate bet here, but if he if he goes white hair, and and a second <laughs> voice comes out. We just gotta put a hundred dollars towards something, okay? Like Tontine. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put a hundred dollars towards the tontine if he goes white hair. <laughs> I thought we put a hundred dollars each towards cameras. But a tontine. Yeah. I mean, the tontine I, will come in handy okay. when everybody else is. Um. So, if you are in the Louisville area, for some reason, next Sunday, uh, Foxes will be playing a hole at the Magnolia Bar. And because of that, I can't promise uh, an episode of Fandom next week, but we'll see what we can do. Um, but... I'm not in the band, but I'll be there. Will you? Yeah, I'm filming. Yeah. Coke will be there filming. Awesome. But, it has been a minute since we had a, uh, a bonus episode, and we should all go see Black Panther together sometime this week. Yep, I'm down. Oh, and, yeah, that sounds awesome. And, um, to our Patreons, we're going to be shifting away from Patreon over the next few months, uh, but... If you're on there or you want to subscribe, we'll put it out for you guys a week early. Uh, we'll let you know what's up with that. Um, and, yeah. And about to wrap up Dragon Ball Super. And we'll see what uh, becomes of this show after we have nothing to, nothing talk, to talk about. Yeah, right? Yeah. Half of our show. You're welcome. So, talk about our youth. Mm. Until Dragon then. Ball. Yeah, we do. We... Oh, yeah. bye. 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 Peace.